Hey everyone, this is the 10 ready practice test for geometry. This is subpart one, which means no calculator. Wah, wah. So I have this no calculator sign here. The question says triangle RST and triangle R prime, S prime, T prime are shown. And they want to know what type of transformation. So transformations, um, they'll come in four varieties, but here we're only dealing with rotations, translations, and reflections. We're not dealing with dilations. Those are all of our transformations that you'll probably deal with in high school. So, what are we looking at? What's a rotation? So, rotation would be where I took a point. Uh, it's easier to look at it from an individual point perspective in some cases, but not always. So, essentially, I would take this and rotate it around. So, sort of like I was spinning it, I guess. Now, a rotation of 180 degrees all the way around would be 360, like a circle. So, that's one circle, it's 360 degrees. If I was going to do it with this, I would sort of just spin it down here. Now there's a rule specifically for it, um, and if I do 180 degrees rotation, the rule that I use is that whatever the original point is in my what's called my pre-image, that'd be this thing right here, this one without the prime, um, I would just change the negative x and negative. I would make I would change the sign. It's not negative. It's opposite actually. So if I was to do 180, I would go all the way around, and it would make sense because this would be positive positive. If I did it sort of at that point 180 degrees, somewhere down in here maybe. So what's originally 4, 5, that's what point S is right here. See it's x of 4 and y of 5. I would just change the signs, negative 4, negative 5. If one of them had been negative ahead of time, so for t prime for instance, which is 2, negative 3, I would just do opposite, so it's negative 2 positive 3. Now I can look to see if that matches up with this my what I need it to be which is s prime. F negative 4, negative 5, no, it's just not going to do it. So if I if you took the piece of paper and spun it around it wouldn't be there. So it's not the rotation of 180 degrees, that's out. Translation left of 8 units. I would imagine that one of them works so that you'll jump on this one as a possible choice. Translation means that I just move the point. So left 8 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's looking great. The problem is it only works for that one point. Everything else totally fails. If I try to go from R to R prime, one, two. That's not eight, so this one's out as well. See, I told you they'd try to do something that would make you pick it quickly. Just make sure, I guess, as a general rule, that you check over all your answers to see if they actually make sense compared to what else is out there, because they like to play that game where they set a little trap for you. Reflection would be I would pick a line or a point or whatever and I'm going to go all the way to that point and then across the same distance sort of like I'm folding a piece of paper in half if I do a reflection over the x-axis that would be right here so this piece that is or this point s I'm sorry that is one two three four five above this line would go to the line and then one two three four five here and this one would switch to where it's six and this one would go up to here. So obviously it's not that reflection. You can lie to yourself and pretend like I can draw a straight line. Um, obviously this is not the, re the correct reflection. Now the y-axis on the other hand is much more promising. There, It looks good. If I took a, this page and it was a piece of paper, I could fold it right along this line and I could probably lay this right on top of this one. But just to make sure, here's the y-axis. So at this point it's one to get there and then one over, that's good. One, two, three, four to get there and then go past it. One, two, three, four, that's excellent. One, two to get there, one, two more. So this is a reflection over the y axis. So that's it. When you do your an an analysis of this type of question, before you take the test, I would just go over the rotation rules really fast. They're not super complicated. Uh, 180 degrees rotation is this. You take your original ones, even if they're negative, and you just change their signs. 90 degrees clockwise, which is this way, you take the signs, or you take the original point values, you switch the order, and you make the x negative, or change, make it opposite, I should say. I keep saying negative, I don't mean to do that, sorry. 90 degrees counter, start here. So that would be going uh, this way. 
again you change the order and this becomes that so if you practice those rules a little bit with flashcards or whatever and then go over how to and think about how reflections look and then translations you should be in good shape for any of these types of questions